Greetings ladies and gentlemen, CCX here. Welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. In the last episode, we ended up leaving Clock Town, gotten some few heart pieces by actually completing just what, like two side quests by two, probably only one. But other than that, we are now in the first true area of Majora's Mask, the Southern Swamp. But it seems that nothing is really happening as of this point. But if we come here and wear the Deku mask, we can go ahead and talk to this Deku scrub right here. Thanks for stopping by. I'm doing business with a Focus of Deku scrub client. Actually, I want to do business at a, at a place, but there's this big octopus and nothing really can be done about it. So I set up shop here. Do you know what big, you know what magic beans are, sir? I'll sell you one for 10 rubies. Now, the thing I am going to do is I am actually going to buy said 10 rubies from, um, 10 rubies. I am going to buy magic beans from this guy. Why? You will kind of see in a, in a very, very fast speed type running way. Now, if you are a Deku, you can be able to go ahead and buy magic beans. And since, you know, I really don't, I feel like being very, very lazy right now. We're going to go ahead and just grind up for just these type of rubies right here. That's it. They only give you just nothing but um green rubies, which sucks. And that Octorok over there, or Octopus is what this guy is calling it. We can't really do anything about him. Yes, not even the mighty snot bubbles can take care of that. But we can buy ourselves a magic beam. Oh, you don't know how to use magic beam. Then I guess I can't sell you any. Yeah, apparently that since we don't have the capabilities of actually knowing how to use said magic beam, you can't. So yeah, speedrunners can't go ahead and actually, um, they, they can't do that. It, it's bad. But to open a business in another place, you need to go through the proper channels first. Do you know what I mean? Ah, uh, yes I do. Here you go. Oh, that's a town land deep title deed. I wish you let me have it. I'll give you this land in return. Sure. And we got ourselves the swamp title deed. I'm going off to town right now. All right, laters. By the way, he does actually take control of the golden flower. So if you ever need it, it's kind of preoccupied by this guy. But don't worry. Wow, the other half of that model is completely missing. That is awesome. Anyways, but don't worry, you actually don't need it because if you're a regular Link, you can be able to just walk up to the um, clock town, the, the clock tower. So you don't really have much to worry about. But get on that um, Deku flower and you can be able to get this piece of heart on top of this photo booth. Yeah, this is exactly what this is. This is actually called, I would read the sign, the Swamp Tourist Information. Which basically gives us what is really going on. In fact, we should probably go ahead and do that right now so we can get some sort of clarity of what's really happening around this place. Because all we know right now is that we, all, we know nothing. Let's actually let's go and speak to this guy. Blimey! Where is he? That spotted child is off playing hooky, hooky again. A child his age has no business searching for fairies. Oh. <clears throat> Welcome. Well then. Why don't you show me a photograph you've taken? Uh, I got nothing, bruh. Huh? Is this your first time entering the photograph contest? Well, the Swamp Tourist Center is currently holding a photograph contest. It's open to all ages, from children to adults. Oh, that's lucky. From, for nice pictures taken in the swamp, a free boat cruise will be awarded as a special prize. So, would you like to enter our contest? Oh, but to enter, you first must take a boat cruise. Boat cruise reservations are handled at that window over there. If you're interested, go for a ride. Alright, let's go and go for a ride. Old Koami, Koemi's Boat Cruise. Ticket office closed. Please acquire a Magic Hags potion shop near the edge of the swamp. Oh, that sucks. Uh, she's not even in. If you guys are familiar by that name, Koemi is a particular person that we met in Ocarina of Time. Okay, you guys go ahead and figure out who that is. Also, only Dekus can be able to land on these lily pads without them being sunk into the ground. Or being, um, sunk completely into the water. Or submerged. Not submerged. So if you're regular Link, they just, that, that happens. I, 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 I mean, Link is too heavy. Dekus are very, very light. Thank goodness for that. Anyways, this area kind of looks like a rehashed version of getting to the Great Deku Tree. I mean, it kind of does. I mean, to be honest, that's exactly what they're referencing. 
Deku, um, little tree and all. But our main course of action, you think that you need to go up here to go ahead and get some potions. Not really. We kind of want to go into this forest over here. Or this area, which is basically the woods of mystery. Beware ferocious turtles. Yeah, that's right. They said ferocious turtles. Yeah, I don't get it. Hmm, follow me. Now, anyways, in the mysterious forest, there are three pathways that can be executed in this area. I will go ahead and put on screen what are the three areas that can happen. Depending on the day, um, the pathway may change. By the way, this sequence here is actually a pain in the 3DS version, because like I said, they um, drop the speed of the spinning attack. So, yeah. By the way, I do not know what those turtles are called, but I do not want to examine them because I want to go and get past this part portion first. Hey, look, it's Koemi. And it's one of the twin rover witches. Oh, no. What's up? I was just busy minding my own business, picking mushrooms when BAM! I got hit from behind. That pesky skull kid did he think? Did he think an old hag wouldn't recognize him if he hit his face? Oh, ow, to think he's that powerful now I can't even move. You don't have anything that gives you energy. Uh, not this particular moment. Ah, what is this? You're no help. I say, you're not at all what you make yourself out to be. What do I make myself out to be? You just met me. Eh, whatever. Anyways, um, some people have speculated that Koemi and Kotaki kind of remembers you, so to speak. But this is actually the timeline. Th this is... These these two witches are kind of the are kind of the same, but not the same. They're kind of not evil in this era because we didn't really interfere. They kind of didn't meet Ganon or Ganondorf in Ocarina of Time, so that's probably why they're kind of you know set up shop here. Why they're in Termina, I have no idea. My potions work very well. They do. Your sister's in trouble, by the way. What's that? The Skull Kid got Koemi? That's ridiculous! If it's just the Skull Kid, then what harm could he possibly do? Oh, well, if that's true, then take this potion to her. This isn't good. Well, yeah, he can actually do some very quite more felthful damage. And she gives us not only our first bottle, but also a bottle filled with red potion. Also, one quick fact. When you go to give the potion to Koemi, please, for the love of God, do not go ahead and assume that you just have to press the C-Stick. You have to talk to her before you give her the potion, or else you're gonna drink the potion in front of her, you douchebag. I am totally serious. That has happened to me at least once every time I play this game, but it's not gonna happen to me this time. By the way, every time those turtles make those um those noises, I always keep thinking they're saying "gad crab." I don't know why. It's just a stupid noise they make, or cat crab, or whatever. By the way, the only way you can't kill those guys regularly, you have to be able to go ahead and. There's a reason why that you see Deku flowers here. They can only be killed from flipping them over. You can't really. Wow, that sucked. Uh, you can't harm them any other way because their shell are, is really, really strong. Huh, I don't know. If you can roll on the flowers. Alright, so as I said before, be sure to talk to her so that you get this indication prompt here. They don't do this in Ocarina of Time, so people who have gone, who have come from Ocarina of Time will, will probably think, Oh, I just go ahead and just hand in the item. No, you have to actually talk to them to execute the prompt to be able to give them said item. Oh, I feel the energy flow. Koemi is revived! And now I shall be able to kill you with my fireman. Oh, wait, we don't have that in this game for some reason. I'm the Swamp Tour Guide. I run the boat cruise. So come by and you want a free ride. And there she goes. Also, before I forget, during the second day, um, Koemi's sister Kotaki will actually be in the mysterious forest. You can actually still get the red potion from her if you actually talk to her. She'll just leave after that point, though. So, you know. But I kind of want to go ahead and run into those um, turtles, so let's go ahead and see what these guys call. It's a snapper. The way these things move, they never expose the weak part of their body. Okay, that's it. All right, that's all we need to know. <laughs> I mean, I get. No, well, to be honest, we are gonna see them in the in the dungeon, so it doesn't really matter. So we come out here and we get um, ganged up by monkeys. You have strange powers, though. Me been watching you. 
the ears swamps filled with poison water. Temple above waterfall. Strange, brother Golden Temple. But brother no able to find temple entrance. Temple for Deku only. Water captured by Deku. Now in palace. Help! And there they go. Also, if you have a particular mask that ends up increasing your speed, when you go ahead and follow these monkeys, these monkeys actually disappear. In fact, if I continuously keep rolling, I can probably go ahead and show you what happens when these guys um, transition out of here. Dang, I just missed it. Oh well, they got killed by the map. Just to, Let's just assume they got killed by the map. Anyways, we have to head back into the boat cruise so we can go ahead and get ourselves some wonderful boat cruise things happening. I got enough. <laughs> I got enough for that. Oh, it feels so good to play the original game where the speed of this jumping thing is so f much faster. I know it's a very huge nit. I know it's a nitpick, but it's a very, very stupid change, and it's so slow with the Deku than it already is. I still feel that the speed in the um in 3D is just slow, to be honest. Oh, thanks for what you did back there. And a special deal f just for you, I'll let you take this cruise for free. Ah, yes, we got a special going on right now, so we're giving this out for free. We got ourselves a photograph box, which ends up being something called the Picto Box in Wind Waker. Except this one only can take one picture. 3D, it can take multiples. I think it can take up to five. But it, uh, not only that, it can also take into... It can also, um... Take in color, so... This one is just black and white. This was the days of old where pictures kind of really had like no color depths into them. Not as of yet, anyway. Actually, you know what? That's dumb considering I'm looking at a game with color in it. So ignore what I just said, all right? <laughs> it's like, that doesn't make any sense. Shut up. Also, in the 3D version of this game, um, Koemi actually makes a comment about the big giant Octorok. Sadly, she does not do that. I kind of like the humor of that in this, in the, um, in the remake. Because it's kind of like saying, and over to you, and over across, you'll end up seeing a big giant Octorok that seems to be black in our path. And then it immediately dies. And it's like, eh, and that's it. She's actually not flying around. She's actually, um, speaking to us in our heads. But anyways, we come here, and now we arrived at the Deku Palace. The swamp border is poisonous, even though it kind of does not look like it's poisonous. But you can tell it's poisonous because it's purple. The swamp water is po- I already said that already. Here, so please watch your step. Yes, I would like to disembark. Now, we go ahead and speak to- Well, the monkey just kind of just leaves us here. And welcome to the best music in the game. Well, sort of. Well, second best music. Welcome to the Deku Palace! This is the first quote-unquote mini dungeon. I like to call every single segment in this game into a, in, in a mini a mini dungeon because, to be perfectly honest, what you have to do is very, very tedious. But anyways, guys, I'm... Well, you know what? Mm. No, no, no. I'm going to end the part here. In the 3D version, there's a save point here just in case you want to stop. But it's not an owl statue. It's just a regular save point. They kind of took those um, save point um, blocks into consideration from Skyward Sword. So, I'm actually glad they actually took some ideas from Skyward Sword correct. So, yeah, that's cool. But anyways, guys, I've been CCX, and I'll be seeing you guys next time when we go ahead and explore the Deku Palace. I've been CCX, and I already said that already, and I'll be seeing you guys next time. See us.